After more than two weeks with no visitors, barriers came down at federal memorials and national parks Thursday, reopening them to the public. Hundreds of thousands of government workers returned to their jobs, anxious to get back into the swing of things. It's wonderful. I'm so glad to be going back to work. It's just great. Uh, my basement has never been cleaner, but what I'd really rather be doing is working. It all follows a late-night, last-minute deal in Congress to reopen the government and avoid a potentially disastrous the default. Is adopted. At the White House, just hours after signing the bill, President Obama blasted lawmakers, saying the U.S. economy and standing around the world has been hurt. Probably nothing has done more damage to America's credibility in the world, our standing with other countries, than the spectacle that we've seen these past several weeks. As the government reopened its doors, congressional budget negotiators held their first meeting, hoping to avoid a replay of the same spectacle when the temporary measure runs out early next year. Uh, we want to look for ways to find common ground, to get a budget agreement. Our goal is to do good for the American people. Talking doesn't guarantee success, but if you don't get together, obviously you can't move forward. So. Though a fiscal feud is likely to resume as the new deadline in January nears, many political experts believe Republicans might not be so eager for another fight after seeing the party's approval rating plummet to record lows. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.